The tragic loss of three-year-old Julian Woods has many in Northeast Ohio, this community, shaken. Now, the city of North Olmsted is stepping up to try and help. First at four, Angie Rodriguez tells you how you can help. I hope people realize that we we're trying we want to help um, it's impacted all of us in ways you can't imagine the community is still grappling with the loss of little three-year-old Julian Juju Wood but the city of North Olmsted and Cuyahoga County are working together to help the community I think when something like this happens it kind of shocks the conscience of the community and it's really important to make sure that people feel supported the city of North Olmsted Cuyahoga County Public Safety Witness Victim Services and the trauma department at Frontline Services will be offering free counseling this Wednesday we think that probably some people are experiencing some trauma symptoms like um, not being able to sleep or having some intrusive thoughts and things like that. Or they might be wondering how to talk to their kids about what happened or how to talk to their kids about violence. We've had some folks reach out to City Hall over the last week um, saying they don't know how to talk to their children about what happened. So that's why part of our service providers tomorrow will be from the Children Who Witness Crime Program so that it, they can help people talk to their children about what happened. Both Jennifer and Jill are just hoping this makes a difference. It's important where they don't have to worry about scheduling an appointment, trying to get in to see a, a social worker or their health care provider. They can just drop in tomorrow between 3 and 6 p.m. here at City Hall and they can talk to a counselor or they can just talk to someone who can be an advocate for them and help them understand what happened last week. In North Olmsted, Angie Rodriguez, 19 News. Well, this has been a story that has been really tough on our entire community. And 19 News will be there every step of the way as the legal process plays out. Look for our updates here on air as well as on the 19 News app. You can find all our previous coverage on Cleveland19.com.